Hello YouTube people, Atlas right here, you guys can see me perfectly clear. This is take three because of certain somebody started interrupting me. But anyways, today we're going to be finding Zero. I know exactly where he is, I know what he has, and we're going to go over what he has today. So, he is here in the, in the tower. Mech left all the way over here to the, what is this? Uh... North Tower. Of course I could have just read the sign, but okay. You will find him right in front of a giant door. As you can see over here. Anyways, today he's got a good assortment of stuff. He's got the Empyrean Bellicose. I can't, still can't pronounce that. As a Titan helmet, I'm not going to go too much into details, just in case. It is a, is a light level of 280 defense. Intellect, its maximum goes up to 48, as long as it's disciplined. Let's check out the perks. Oh, man. <laughs> the anti-grav thruster. What this basically does is, while you're... In mid flight, you can aim and it'll hold you right there, kind of like with the sun, the sun singer, you know, the light of angel, whatever. You can basically, like, while you're aiming, you just like stay in there for a little bit and then you just fall right back down. Also, whenever you collect an orb, hey, well, an orb is collected while your super is full, where your charger. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. So, when your super is full, you can uh, cl still collect orbs for your melee. For some reason, like my voice, like give me a headache. We got the Graviton Forfeit. What this basically do is for your Night Stalker subclass, you get the Shade Step for free. I can't remember what that does exactly, but I think it's like an an evade kind of thing. And you get an evade by pressing circle twice and moving the analog stick to a certain place you want to go. And for oh, and that's for like the hunter gauntlet. This, I mean, the hunter helmet. This is a warlock gauntlet. Nothing menace. How do you pronounce that word? A word. Nothing manacles. Nothing menaces. I don't know. It's got 280 defense. Like I said, you can level up all three of these. You can't level this one. You can level up all three of these just by using an exotic shard. Which you can get by dismantling exotic weapons. But anyway, it, its strength, I mean, its discipline is 41 and its strength is 45. It, um, its special is, allows your scatter or scatter grenades to track and hold an extra scatter grenade charge. So I'm assuming that means you can hold two grenades at once. Uh, I don't think that these things really, these things go like at random, I think. So I'm not do, I'm not really going to go too much in details. We also, this week is the universal remote. I've already gotten it. It's in my vault or in one of my other characters, but the universal remote is a primary shotgun. This means that the pro this weapon you can hold as if is a primary. So, it does connect damage, obviously. Uh, universal remote. Range and precision damage gr increases greatly while aiming down the sights. That means when you're aiming, like you're pressing this button. Or is it this one? I can't remember. But whichever it is, um... It's damage and range increases greatly, like it says. Crowd control. Kills this weapon gains a bonus damage for a short time. So that's what the things he's selling. I am personally going to get the th nothing mentalist. I don't know. Just having just the thought of having scatter grenades that um tracks. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, Legacy Engram, you can get that, but it's just going to give you year one crap, and 
If you want to get year two, you're going to have to like get a whole lot of legendary marks, about 150 to be exact. Um, glass needles. Um, see this? You need glass needles to uh, switch things up a bit with that. I never gotten one. I never actually seen the point in getting one. It's like it takes one exotic shard, so I don't think it's going to be worth it. You get three of coins. You can get as many of these as you want, as long as you got enough strange coins. But what these do is that it ups your chance to get an exotic from a boss. That's pretty much is it. It used to be very overpowered. You can get like exotics left and right from this. You can, you can still get it. You can still get like a ton of exotics from this, but not as often. You get some heavy ammo synthesis. In my opinion, the heavy ammo synthesis that Zer is offering is very cheap and well worth it. And avoid drive upgrade. It permanently upgrades, permanently upgrades an equipped rare sparrow to improve speed and durability. I've got one, but I never use it. I don't have no, I don't have rare. All I have is legendary. So ultimately, this is kind of useless. Emerald Coil. Per permanently upgrades an equipped rare sparrow to improve the speed and durability. So I'm assuming that this one makes it like a pink contrail. I mean a purple, and this one makes it blue or green. And obviously... You get some modes of you can get modes of light through strange coins, but ultimately that's also useless because modes of light are so easy to come by these days. So if you guys don't mind, let me get some shopping done. I already got some of that. Let's get some three coins really quick. I am merely a trash collector for the night. Here's trash collector. So it was never mine. Okay, so I guess, hey, whoever you got this from, you got some, you got a beef with him or some, or her. True. Uh, I can't remember, I think I got my universal remote in my, um, my locker. I can show you guys what it does. Let me, let me show you guys. First off, do I have a exotic already equipped? I do not. Thank you. This is going to drastically make my thing drop, but I don't really care. Alright, scatter grenades. Makes it kind of like the um, hunter's grenades. The hunter's scatter grenades. I can't remember what it's called. But, but it is good. Here's mine. It's 315. I can instantly spot it out. Let's go to orbit. Let's go to. I don't know. I guess go to Earth. Or the Dreadnought, either one. Huh. Well, the Universal Remote is really good for PvP. It is a very powerful shotgun, especially if you're aiming down the sights. And you get close enough, you can do some serious damage. Possibly even one hit kill someone. But it depends if you're like aiming for the head or something. So we're going to Earth. We're going to try this shot. I'm going to give you. I'm going to show you guys what the shotgun, the shotgun, this shotgun is capable of. I said shotgun instead of shotgun. <laughs> so this may take a little bit to look. I oh, don't. Never mind. Ah. <laughs> uh, anyways, this place brings back memories. This is I the sure universal shotgun, or universal remote. I don't know why I said universal shotgun. As you can see, you start off with fourteen shots. Five. You can all up to five, possibly more. Now you just need to find some enemies. Might as well grab that. New monarchy is offering bounties here. Whatever haunts us, we should haunt twice as hard. Mission parameters encrypted. Thanks. Well, anyways, uh, crap. What was I saying? I can't remember. See what? Boom. 
it's not really that it can be very strong but it can be very strong but it depends with shotguns I prefer doing this because it's easier to aim so there you have it you got the universal remote right here we got the two helmets and the one gauntlet that Zer is offering this month or week excuse me that Zer is offering this week I hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe follow me on twitch link in the description below if you guys enjoyed this video also this is live right now so anyways hope y'all enjoyed this I'm gonna try and start back up with um uh, with these kind of videos so Finally got it. Take three. Third time's the charm. After my, my dad kept on coming in here and interrupting like two times. So, y'all have a good one. Bye, guys. I'll see you next video.